I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my day. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet, I'm gonna rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome if you're new to a new fall homemaking video. So we're going to do quite a few recipes in this video. I want to make a no-bake pumpkin pie. It sounds really good. I also want to make some apple cider and I am just about to make cowboy stew. So I thought I would just do this intro and then we'll get into the cowboy stew. All right, y'all, the first thing we're gonna do is cut up this sausage and get it in the pot. I'm just doing one pot. So it says to kind of brown this in the skillet. Well, I'm just gonna do it in the pot so I don't have to wash two dishes. So that's what we're gonna do first. Cause I know what it's like to be broke. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy from this lucky day yeah i am on my way up i won't slow down yeah i am on my way up i won't slow down i'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat i'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way And I don't care if you spill coffee on me Or if the sky is gray or blue No, I don't care Alright, I've got that going in the pot And I just washed these two potatoes I'm going to peel them And then cut them into half inch quarters I am on my way up And I won't stop I won't slow down Standing on my feet I'm going to rise up No, I won't it is my time Cause I know what it's like to be broke, yeah I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down <laughs> Yeah, I am on my way I won't slow on down. Yeah, I know what it's like to be broken, and I know what it's like. All right, y'all, we've got our potato chopped up and put in here. The sausage is pretty round, so I think that's fine. I'm about to turn this down, and we're going to add everything else. Okay, y'all. So, this recipe... Oh, and this bag seems to be busted. This recipe calls for one can of diced tomatoes. Leave the juice in there. I don't have a can of diced tomatoes, but I do have tomatoes. Uh, that have been, you know, the peels came off, core, it's just diced tomato basically with the juices. So, it's a little bit frozen. It will break down though. And this, this is going to cook for an hour anyway, so all this will get, get dethawed, but we're about to add a lot more vegetables. Alright y'all, this is not my recipe by the way. This is off of the Gonna Want Seconds website and it's called Cowboy Stew. So it says one can of sweet corn with the liquid so don't drain anything. And then it also says two cans of 16 ounce baked beans. I have brown sugar hickory baked beans this is a 28 ounce, so I'm missing four ounces of baked beans, but oh well. 
it, there's just two of us, so there's going to probably be a bunch of leftovers, unless this is amazing and then I eat too much. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get this open and then I'll pour it in there. I just told Aaron this is a fancy beanie weenies. So, leaves of bean juice, too. Not my rules. I'm just following the recipe. Alright. That's a lot of beans. That's good. I'll, I'll try to start it up so it looks better, but our tomatoes are still frozen. Okay. It does not call for onions, so I'm just putting in a little handful. That's maybe half a cup, just because I'm an onion girly. Erin's not too big on onions, and also, I don't know if there's anything else in here that would make it throw it off if I put onions in there, so we'll just put a little bit. But I also want to put a little bit of bell pepper. Why not? And then it calls for green chilies, which I don't have green chilies, but I do have, I do have some of these from the garden. So I'll probably just chop up one because they're hot. And, it, and a hot chili and a green chili may be two different things. Probably is. So, all these vegetables. Um, are from our garden. <coughs> the tomato, the onion, and this bell pepper right here. I really like having frozen vegetables that did come from our garden because I typically do buy frozen vegetables when I buy vegetables. So it saves us some money. And make sure that even if we planted too much it gets used because you're preserving it so I'm going to chop up one of those little chili peppers and stick it in here I've got a lid for this too oh good some of that tomato just broke off which I'm using one of these silicone rubber spatulas so it's not like it can really get in there and break it up but it helps not scratch our pots, which are already scratched. All right, I chopped my little chili pepper up. Pretty small, because it's hot. I'm gonna leave this knife just in case I need it for anything else, but I think everything else is seasoning and water. It says one cup of water. Okay. So I'm going to get garlic powder because I do not have, um, you're also going to put black pepper in here. I'll leave the recipe linked down below, but I don't have garlic cloves, but it does say to use garlic cloves and minced. So even if you have the refrigerated ones, that would do good, but I'm just going to use the garlic powder. I'll put some salt in here to bring out the, all the flavors and some pepper and then it also says to put all-purpose flour three tablespoons so i hope i have some all-purpose flour on me all right y'all i only have self-rising <laughs> flour um so i don't know if it makes a difference in how much i put in there so I don't know. I'm just going to do, this is basically two tablespoons instead of the three. Maybe that will help at all because it is, it would rise, you know? So, in my head I'm thinking, well, the self-rising would take up more space. <laughs> so, that probably has no logic to it at all, but it makes sense in my head. Okay, there is the flour. You use all-purpose flour, don't use self-rising. Um, now I'm just going to add in some salt. This is one and a half teaspoons. I say salt until you feel like not salting anymore. And then I'm going to add in some garlic powder. I 
actually, I'm just going to imagine how much would, how much garlic powder would be three cloves? Okay, I would say that this is half a tablespoon. It's going to be good for me. I love garlic. Um, and we're going to do some pepper. Okay. And, oh, water. It says to add one cup of water. Now, I have a lot of the... the Y'all can see the liquid in here. Let me show you. I don't know that I want to add the water in just yet. Also, I do have a chicken broth. So, I probably won't even do water. I'll just do a broth. But, there's a lot of liquid in here already from where it was in the cans. Now, I know they mentioned that to leave that in there. But, also... There's a lot of liquid from the tomato because I did not strain it. So it's not, I, and it was a lot. I would say this is like two cans worth and it only called for one, but I just used the whole bag. So we're just gonna go with the flow here and see what happens. If I feel like I need to add more liquids, I will. I'm assuming it's just to make sure the potatoes get cooked, but this is on three. I'm going to cover it and just leave it here. It's still kind of cold, so it's going to take a while. But I have a good feeling about this. And when I mentioned it to Aaron, he said that he had heard of it before. So let me know if this is a popular recipe. And if you enjoy it, do you tweak it anyway? Do you make it different? What do you do? Do you add toppings to it? What do you do with your cowboy stew? Oh, some cornbread would be good. We don't have any of that though, but that would be good. I forgot to mention, I'm gonna bring this to a boil real quick, and then I am going to simmer it. So it's already starting to bubble up, which is nice. I see it moving over there. So once this comes to a boil, I'll just lower it to like two, cover the lid, and let it cook for um, about 30 minutes. I'm gonna check the recipe real quick. All right, so the recipe actually says to let it come to a boil, reduce the temperature to a simmer, cover it, and let it sit for one hour. So that is what we're gonna do. And I'll just check on it periodically to make sure there's enough liquid because we may need that one cup that the recipe calls for. Now, it also, called for bacon and you would cook the bacon when you did the sausage kind of like you know brown it and um get it all in little bitty pieces and then add it well i did not have bacon to do that so this is what we're working with i'm excited y'all i'm excited to use my tomatoes from the garden <laughs> is that weird like this is 33 i'm excited to use farm to table <laughs> and here's all of our apples that we're going to use to make our cider okay everybody it has came to a boil so we're going to lower this to it's about in between minimum and two and then i'm going to go ahead and cover it one hour is what it says I also forgot to mention, it calls for ground beef. There's supposed to be ground beef, bacon, and also the sausage in there. So it's a really fancy beanie weenie. <laughs> but we don't have, well we do have ground beef, but it's frozen. I'm going to use it for other recipe. So we're going to do, we're going to do with this. This will be fine. It's enough meat for us. Okay, so we do have these little bacon pieces, about a third of a pouch. So I'm just gonna stick those all in there. That felt like a drop in the ocean. <laughs> okay, it's already starting to thicken up. 
I think I will go ahead and add half a cup of broth. This is water, but broth would be more flavor. Well, do you want it to be soupy or do you want it to be like a stew? Because it does say stew, so thicker. Because I can let it just keep doing its thing for a little bit. I'll taste it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You a bunch of water so it might take all the flavor out. Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> Y'all, he fished until 6 o'clock this morning. He fished and, and fished and fished. He probably would have fished even longer if I wasn't stay, trying to stay up until you got back. But that's okay. Hey y'all, it's the next day. That cowboy stew was really good. Next time I make it, I wanna make it with all the ingredients because um, we didn't put the ground beef in there. But that stuff was amazing. We ate we ate quite a bit of it. I didn't even save it for another day because we do not normally eat leftovers. But I need to pick up some things. So here's what happens. I wake up. First thing I wake up, I feed the girls, and then I go around the living room and kitchen. I just did that backwards. <laughs> also, I'm tired. Um, anyways, I gotta wake up. We're gonna get started. We're just gonna turn on the TV, and I'm gonna clean up in here, and then I'm probably gonna make a coffee. I'm gonna eat my yogurt. And we're gonna make some apple cider so we can actually have something fall to drink today. And what's cool is this is basically like a simmer pot, but you can drink it. So you're not having to throw it all away. All right, so it may look like there's something on that pad that's on the floor, but actually it's just a tear in it, but it's clean, so I don't want to throw it away. <laughs> I've got it muted because um, we are about to go in the kitchen and get some work done in there but I guess there is a hurricane coming through around Cuba and it's gonna go up through Florida and then this looks like that's gonna be South Carolina and then it tilted weird wait there's the line I can tell so this is Georgia Alabama Mississippi Louisiana okay 
South Carolina, North Carolina. Oh, okay. So actually, it looks like maybe Tennessee and would get more rain than we would because it's going up that way. We live about, oh, if I had to guess, okay, this is South Carolina. The way the map looks is weird to me. <laughs> it's like tilted a little bit. Anyways, we're up here. And we're like smack dab in the middle, I would say, of North Carolina. If I had to give you an idea. Anywho, living room's fine now. It was just laundry that I needed to fold. I'll put it away later because Aaron is still in the bed. But I'm coming in here. I'm going to do some dishes. I don't know if I'm going to do them all because I want Aaron to do some of them. We, well, we take turns. And I've done quite a bit of them, but I need, I actually need some of these <laughs> to make, I think I might put the simmer, or not simmer pot, but the apple cider in this one. So I have to clean this. Also want to run a thing of water through here because these get like super liquidy, the indulgio, because it's not like a regular caramel. It's like a, a hot chocolate basically. So sometimes it gets gross in there. So I need to clean that. I need to clean my glass cup and then I need to clean some of these pots for whatever he's going to use. Uh, Y'all know me, I'm probably going to end up just washing all of them and leaving the silverware. And then right now, I'm going to take my Fiberwell gummies, Phytofusion Women's Multivitamin, and then this Probiotic Dailies Activia. You can have two of these a day for gut health and I'm telling y'all, when I don't use these, I can tell a huge difference then when I do use them everything runs smoothly. I also have some vegetables to process today. I'm going to freeze all of these in with the other ones and then I just need to chop these three up and then freeze them and I may even uh, freeze this with those and just because this is literally the only one I have. If I do more banana pepper plants I'll do quite a few of them because it actually takes a while to get one. So, those are chili peppers and they are hot. It seems like that's the only big weather thing going on. So, I'm going to turn it to the regular news. Alright y'all, I'm going to go ahead and get a load of laundry on since this is full enough. I've got two laundry detergent sheets in here. These. And it's empty. I've got two boxes to go though. <laughs> I think. <laughs> um, I'm going to put a little bit of these scent beads in here. But this time... I'm gonna put them down there. That's where the water pulls out. Um, that way, and I'm out of boxy clean powder, but that's okay. That way, um, they melt better, dissolve better. Also, I never fill up the whole cap because I feel like that's just a lot. Um, so I just, maybe like a tablespoon or so. So it all just went to the bottom. And then I don't fill up my washing machine all the way just so the clothes actually move around in the water. But, I know, I like to run a heavy. Heavy load, tap cold, one rinse. I'm putting this curtain down just so there's better lighting over here. Sometimes if there's a window open, it would get really dark. I can't believe that you came into my life. You made me feel again. Now it's my turn. You say you've always been a little bit shy. But I can put an end to your fears. Let me show you a place where you go on to move your feet until they start to be. DJ, take it away. Tonight is all for you and me. So, baby, spin and let the music begin. I know you feel it within. So, go ahead and just spin. Just spin for me.
I'm gonna wipe this down. Um, it's from where we cooked last night. And then I'm going to chop up some apples. Now the recipe I'm going with, they said to do 10 apples, but I'm only gonna do, are you even gonna drink the apple cider, Erin? It's iffy. So I think I'm actually just going to do maybe like four apples um, and just make a small portion uh, because it's also not something I should like drink a lot of, you know, because it is, it is apple cider. It is uh, like a diuretic, I think, but I'm going to wipe this down. Okay, so this recipe is from imbaker.net and it's homemade apple cider. So they're doing 10 medium apples quartered, half a cup light brown sugar, four sticks cinnamon, two teaspoons or two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. I actually think I might have some sticks. And then one tablespoon ground allspice oh y'all I do not have allspice mm. I don't know but what I did is three apples right here and I've got one fourth cup of packed brown sugar so I'm just gonna put that in there this is gonna be fun all right, y'all, we've got to add some water. It says place quartered apples, so they quartered theirs. I just sliced mine and took the seeds out. So we've got to cover the apples by two inches. When apples are submerged, uh, push them down, apples will float. Anyways, and then it says stir in brown sugar, cinnamon sticks, and allspice. Bring to a boil. Allow... To, uh, and allow to mixture to boil uncovered for an hour. Oh, wow. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if I want to use that pot for that. I also don't know if I want to use this huge pot. But if it's got to boil uncovered for an hour, I don't want to have to watch it. You know what I mean? So... I'm gonna stick it. <laughs> I'm gonna stick it in here and I might use her picture or his picture, whoever it is. I think it's a lady. I might use her picture. <laughs> because this is not pretty right now. I just dumped it all in here. I had had it all pretty, but whatever. All right, everything that is needs to be in there is in there. We're gonna turn this on. We're gonna bring it to a boil. And then I'll lower the temperature a little bit and then it's gonna sit at a boil uncovered for one whole hour this is a total of three hours by the way this is the fingernail polish kit I used for my nails that y'all see um, I used the really deep it's this color on the end really deep like burgundy color and this is modal one modal ones so I'll leave it linked I think it's Amazon but I really like this color. This color would be good for Christmas too. Also, I brought this inside because it's not uh, meant for the outdoors and it's okay if I'm out there, but today is like a gloomy day. So I don't know if it's gonna be raining. So I just brought it in. Um, anyway, all that being said, I put this vase with the florals over here and y'all, oh my gosh. I think it looks a million times cooler in here than it did in the kitchen. I'm watching Home Sweet Home 
um, but it helps tie in the orange pillow and the orange over there and then also it pulls all the orange from that photo how awesome is that so it's crazy what some color can do in a space plus I love orange makes me happy even if it wasn't fall like there have been times where I've thought do I want my permanent decor to also be orange like that accent because I really like it let me know if your house is orange I'm curious well this is gonna be fun I wanted to get this video up for y'all this afternoon like before four o'clock or at four o'clock like I used to do but because this is going to take three hours just to make this video is probably going up by the time it's dark but hopefully y'all don't mind that I know some people really like the earlier videos but you could also catch, always catch it the next day if it goes up too late because um, I like to make long videos and I like to show y'all what I'm doing and kind of like not skip on things just based on the time. So we're just going to go with this whole day as if I wasn't filming. I'm learning to do that, to film videos as if I wasn't filming. That way it's as real as real can be. <laughs> it has came to a boil. So I'm just turning mine down to seven. Whoops. That way it will keep boiling, but it won't boil over. Y'all, we purchased the shed. Oh my gosh. So this one looks identical to the one we already have. The one we have is an 8 by 10 I think. And this one is a 10 by 12 So we're getting, I think, like four more feet in total if I'm doing my math right. I don't know. Um, but I'm super excited. It says that it's going to be delivered tomorrow. So we're gonna have a lot of work ahead of us by the way if you make apple cider at home it smells amazing this this is so so good i cannot wait to try some i've never had apple cider homemade before i always just buy it from the grocery store so i'm super excited because if i like this i feel like this is a lot cheaper to make at home than it is to buy it at the store but y'all tell me what you think I just wanted y'all to know how grateful I am for this job and it's up right over here um, and y'all and that I get to film uh, videos and post them and y'all enjoy them and like this is such a blessing for us to be able to work from home and everything and that is possible because of y'all and I never want to lose that gratitude for you because you make a huge impact in our life and also I just want to say um, that I respect y'all your opinions your thoughts your everything you know um, and I feel like in the past I've definitely not done my best job of seeing my viewers as valuable as y'all are um, because it's really easy to just see a lot of numbers and then be like, oh, well, 7,000 views and not understand that that is 7,000 human beings that sat down to watch this video of another person. And I am ashamed. <laughs> I should be ashamed of myself and not realizing how much of a blessing that is and how easy it can just disappear so I'm thankful for y'all um, I wish if I could give you a hug I would uh, but y'all are amazing and you have changed my life and I am eternally grateful <laughs> every day grateful for y'all um, so thank you for for being here and for doing what you do because you have done a lot okay everybody I have turned this down to minimum. Here's what it's looking like. Um, and now it's got a simmer. It says simmer for two hours. So there it is. But I'm going to the store. And uh, we're going to make that no-bake pumpkin pie. 
and it has a uh, whipped cream in it too so I feel like it's going to be a little bit different than a regular pumpkin pie that would be baked um, so I'm excited to try it I'm going to go buy the ingredients for it all right, we got the ingredients from the store that we needed um, for a couple of different recipes. And then some stuff is just things that we ran out of. But we're going to make that pumpkin pie no bake. So we got a graham cracker crust. I went in, I went ahead and got the 10 inch one. They had a 10 inch and a 9 inch. So I went in ahead and got this one. Then tomorrow's or the next day's video is going to be, um, I'm going to make Italian grinder sliders. And I've heard a bunch of other people have made this too. So hopefully it's good in our house as well. But I need Parmesan cheese for that. Erin uh, saw this pumpkin roll. So we picked that out. Um, but I'm also going to need pepperoncinis. A can of diced tomatoes. Um, these Hawaiian rolls. Lettuce. It called for ham and provolone cheese. And then also it called for... Uh, thin sliced pepperoni and thin sliced salami so what i did because it's just for the recipe and i'm not out here trying to make 25 dollar italian sliders you know what i mean so they had the pre-packaged uh salami and pepperoni for four dollars a piece and i was like man that's gonna be eight dollars just for just for the two extra types of meat i ain't doing that so i said what about we do a fourth of a pound for each because they were $7.99 a pound for the deli to slice them for you so only a dollar sixty for that one and a dollar seventy six for that one because this one was uh one of them has 0.22 and the other one has 0.2 so anytime you're making recipes if you can ask the deli for to cut it for you uh, it's probably going to come out cheaper and save you a little bit of money. And then uh, we got the provolone cheese because it calls for that. And then this is uh, some of this ham I'm going to use in the recipe. But the rest of it is going to be for sandwiches. So there's ham and cheese in here. And then the um, I'm going to use seasonings and stuff also in that recipe. But that's all, all the ingredients I needed for it. And then for the pie you need Cool Whip pumpkin puree so pure pumpkin don't get the pie filling pumpkin and then uh 15 ounces of that and then it showed two boxes on her picture but i don't know if i'm actually supposed to use two boxes but either way we got two boxes of uh instant pudding and pie filling and this is the vanilla because that's what the recipe said and then this is for tonight which i don't know if i'm going to film it or not it's already getting late in the day i hope I hope I can get this up before y'all go to bed. <laughs> um, because I've got to get this to thaw out. I'm just going to let it thaw out on the counter. Aaron picked out some hush puppy mix because he's going to make fish. He caught more fish and cleaned them up. He got ranch, sugar, fish fry, and then some regular bread. And then we had to get cat food for the girls. And I think that's everything. So I'm going to put all my stuff away. And uh, then I'm going to strain the apple cider and try it. So, we shall see. All right, y'all. Y'all were probably going to laugh. You probably already knew this before I even showed me doing less of the recipe what it called for. <laughs> y'all, the 10 apples said it makes 4 cups. This is a little coffee cup. That's probably a third of a cup. Of <laughs> Maybe half a cup, actually. Let's be a little bit more generous there. <laughs> Most of y'all are, well, my audience, the age is a, mostly like if I had to guess, what I could go look, but um, I would say it's at least 80%, if not more, is. 45 to uh, 65 and my highest percentage group they give us like different age brackets is the I think it starts at 54 to 65 or something like that anyway basically 
a lot of y'all have been around a lot longer than I have and you probably already know how to make all the stuff that I show on my videos. You probably already know how to decorate and do all those things. So a lot of times I don't do like how-to videos because my audience probably already knows. But I just like to make stuff with y'all. Um, more so like my channel is definitely more like entertainment. But we're going to try this. Oh wow, that is, I, I, I like that. Do you wanna try it, Erin? Apple cider. <laughs> he doesn't wanna try it. It's very sweet. It's also kind of thick. But, this is good. This is good. I wonder if you could make, I mean, I'm sure you can make other stuff like apple butter with the apples and um, maybe like an apple syrup because it does seem like it's syrupy. I'm glad I didn't put any more sugar in there than I did. But yeah, this is good. I feel like if I made this for a good portion of people, I would have to make a huge pot. Like one of those giant silver pots. Um, and probably do like 20 apples for five people because this is enough for me to taste it. I do appreciate people that make apple cider because that's a lot of prep and time just for a little bit of juice <laughs> but that was fun okay so next thing I'm gonna do is get my vegetables preserved I actually do feel like a little bit of a homesteader <laughs> Our right, vegetables are in the freezer, so I'm excited to use those for meals. I've already been using them for meals. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, I did get a new shower curtain, but I think I'm gonna leave that for tomorrow's video because this video is probably already getting super long. I'm curious. Oh, I've gotta finish the, I was like, should I end it here? No, because I gotta show y'all the pie. So, I'm feeling this. It actually feels like it's already thawed out. So let's go ahead and make this. All right, y'all. Let's see if this is thawed out enough. Oh, yeah. I can whip that in. All right. I'm going to pull up the recipe. We're going to make this. And Aaron is going to be making his fish also. So I guess I will 
show you all that as well. Or let him show you. Okay, everybody, we're doing this together. So, I've got our pumpkin puree right there. And then we're going to follow the directions. So, this is from the frugal girls.com thaw cool whip in the refrigerator for four hours y'all it thawed on the countertop for about 10 minutes so do what you will with that information okay so first thing i'm gonna do is open the cool whip mix together pumpkin pie spice cool whip and two boxes of vanilla. I actually thought I could mix it up in here, but I don't know if I can. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm going to try to mix it up in the Cool Whip. I've seen people do this. I've seen them put um, like chocolate protein powder in tubs of Cool Whip and then just eat it as a dessert to get their protein in. So I'm just going to do, see if I can stir in one box at a time. Oh man. Might have to do half at a time. I think they mentioned stirring it in the pie crust. But this looked really good. I feel like I saw somebody make something similar to this on YouTube the other day but I don't know who it was I want to say Mimi's Kitchen but I definitely don't think that's who it was I think it was someone else I don't know I mean she probably has too I actually found her on YouTube one night you know when you're just scrolling and you click on a random video yeah that's what it was Okay, so now it'll be easier to stir up and add the rest of this in here. So one packet. Aaron's getting his fish going. He's gonna freeze a bunch of it and then we're gonna eat the rest of it. And he also got this, this time, Hush Puppy with onion from house of all trees the other day when we had fish we tried out the i could tell you his name i got a little sauce in here from him i do like the sauce it's, um, oh it doesn't even say it says from cajun two-step i don't know what you're saying <laughs> i don't even know if, if we can say that it's an offensive term when you call a white person a cracker. I don't take offense to it, but it is offensive. Okay, he's saying that's his YouTube name. All right. Oh, stale. <laughs> okay. But it's the brand is the Cajun Two Step, I guess. But he has his own hush puppy batter, and uh, I don't know if it's something I did wrong because I'm the one that mixed it, or if it's just it, it was it was like eating a corn cake, which is basically cornbread that you fry in a pan like a pancake, but except for full of oil because we deep fried it basically. So we just went back to the one we know can't go wrong all right we're gonna add our other thing of pumpkin if I can't get it in the bowl instead of knocking it on the counter like I am that's one good thing about having a big old hand towel on the counter my counters won't get as dirty all right we're also gonna mix I think it is a whoa no oh goodness a tablespoon of pumpkin pie seasoning. I love how you can jump to the recipes. That's my favorite thing to do. 
Okay, and this only takes 10 minutes to do. All right. Oh, one teaspoon. Good thing I looked. So we'll just kind of eyeball a teaspoon. Okay, we're pouring our teaspoon of that mm -hmm. in with this. What you need? I just only about six, seven pieces. Oh, okay. It should be in my part. Yeah, because I don't. Well, yeah, I love hush puppies. You can do more of those. Oh, I like hush puppies. I would eat a lot of those and not a lot of fish. <laughs> Plus, I'm not even that hungry because I filled up on coffee and apple cider. All right, this is starting to look good. In here, it's got a really thick consistency now, which it says to stick in the freezer and uh, that way it can kind of set up for you, which I mean, you could eat it by itself if you want to. So now what we're gonna do is, um, what does it say? Pour a mixture into graham cracker crust. That's weird. I'm, I'm missing the part about the pumpkin puree though. That's what it looks like. So I know that's what we're gonna do. And the recipe I was looking at the other day, she said to fold it in. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here this is the pumpkin pie or not not filling actually I'm lying this is and it don't matter because we're gonna mix it all together either way this is pumpkin puree so I don't know what the difference is between the kind that you have to um, use for pies and this but this is just puree pumpkin Or does smell like it. All right, so there's that. And I'm gonna get my little thing right here. This is what I used to whenever I need to fold something in. Oh, I gotta rinse this off though. All right, let's fold it in. Get this off of the spoon first. Okay. It kind of creates like a mousse texture. Oh, it don't matter to me. I'm actually going to go outside. I actually like to... Uh, I love sitting outside. That's what I do all the time, y'all. Okay. So he's going to cook it out there on his little propane grill. It's a little propane tank and then you attach something to the top of it where you can put a little pot on there and then heat up whatever you want kind of like you're camping yeah, it's a coleman, campsite. coleman camp stove okay is that what you bought yeah i don't think i got that for you because i bought them a grill top yeah, one we, time yeah we bought both which you know what i never thought about this but you could probably use that grated grill top that goes over a fire on the grill for a larger one because i know you've been using those little plates and I'm getting, and the 10 inch pie was a good choice. Okay. I don't want to, I'm wanting every bit of it to get in together. I don't want to leave, you know, just clumps of the pumpkin. Since it's probably not sweetened. <laughs> Okay, that's starting to look like hers. So I feel like we did something correctly. 
Okay, y'all. Now I just need to kind of make it look somewhat pretty here. But this is a quick and easy recipe you can make for a dessert that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. <laughs> like most of the specialty desserts are costing these days. Like that pumpkin swirl cake I showed y'all, that was $6. But even the Little Debbie's were uh, $3 a box. So I guess it's all right. I think I can taste this. Wow. Why is it kind of marshmallowy? Do you want to taste it? I want to lick it. <laughs> well, I'm excited. I do taste pumpkin. And I taste, oh, I bet it's that vanilla pudding that's marshmallowy. Because so it's. Yeah? Did something bad happen? No, I don't want Mexico. Oh! I don't want to do it too early. I think last time it said vanilla. Does this remind you of anything? Like, could. It's giving marshmallow. Which is very interesting. He just went outside. <laughs> y'all. And that was my cat. And can y'all see that I'm sitting here licking my fingers? Because of the stuff on the edge. This is something you could take to church. To a potluck. I've thought about going. <laughs> I've thought about going for a while, but... I just read my Bible at home. All right, y'all, this is gonna sit in the freezer for one hour, and I can't wait to eat it. I have saved so many recipes on Pinterest, uh, a lot of desserts, really. Um, like, tomorrow's recipe is the grinders, but I know I saw Fearfully Created make those. They, they call them TikTok grinders, but I think it's the same thing. Anyways, I saw them make it months ago, and that I've, I've not yet tried it. So I'm like, well, let's try it. I'm sure y'all probably already have. Um, but I'm gonna clean up my mess and I'm excited to share more recipes with y'all, especially like because it's fall and then it's gonna be Christmas. So it's seasonal recipes, which excite me a lot. So in this video, y'all got three. You got the cowboy stew, you got the apple cider and the pumpkin pie all right y'all he's starting the fish he just poured some of this in there the fish fry this is Louisiana Might add a little bit more. he's gonna add some toppy toppy to yo toppy to yo sorry <laughs> toppy to yo <laughs> <laughs> um, and then also he's got some Tony Saturies there and then here's the fish he I caught uh, Saturday night Saturday night I caught these fish I cleaned them yesterday yesterday. Mm -hmm. yeah, yesterday yeah set out there he's got a big piece of wood he just sits out there and cleans them show you how much he's put in there also if you do want to put hot sauce because the hot sauce takes some of that fishiness away it does take the fishiness away um but if you don't like the super spicy hot sauce just use like a louisiana hot sauce or original it's gonna take a minute <laughs> to get this all mixed up okay right we eyeball pretty much everything in this house Unless it is a recipe like we just did and you have to do what it says. And Aaron liked the stew, so I think we could make that again. And I'm glad I didn't add extra water to it because it would have been soupier. I got six or seven pieces of fish in there. Flays. And then this will go into the crab. 
That should be. Oh yeah, yeah. That should be plenty of hot sauce. Right there. I'll add this time. Yeah. Add it more. And I feel like the hot sauce in the oil, like it's not as hot as you think it is going to be. The first time I it's cooked like it. It's like a neutralizer almost. Yeah, the first time I cooked it, I put, you couldn't even tell there was hot sauce. Yeah. But it makes it taste less gamey. Also, it depends on how you fly your fish and what kind of fish you have. And this will not take long at all before the grease gets hot. I'm gonna go ahead while the grease is warm enough, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this fish in the, this fish mix. Gotta mix it up. I ain't gonna be able to cut, keep, uh, cook but a couple pieces at a time because these are good sized pieces of fish. And if you didn't, if you was wondering what kind of fish they are, they're, they're crappie. This tastes almost like a fried chicken. That fishy taste, though, it's already boiled. Turn the heat down a tiny bit. We're ready to cook now. I love about propane. When they float, they're done. Or if you want a little bit more crisp on them, you can leave them in there a little bit longer, but when they float, they're done. Well, it had two different recipes on there. One said add water for deep frying. If you want to put them in the oven, I wanted egg and milk and... Oh. I don't know what that difference is, honestly. So you don't try a piece of it. With nothing, no ketchup or anything, this is by itself. I like that you cannot taste fish. And I don't. I like fish when it doesn't taste like fish. All right, y'all, here's our fish and hush puppies. And I want to show you the sauce we're using. Sweet habanero pepper sauce. We got this at Walmart. The brand is Marie Sharps. All right, y'all, here is our no-bake pumpkin graham cracker crust pie. We're gonna try this right now. All right, here we go. This does not even look like one of those knives. What is that? I need this. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I'm trying to find the middle here. <laughs> ah, I don't know if I did. I'll go ahead and cut all the pieces. Oh, I think I'm cutting into the pie on accident. The aluminum part.
this is what it looks like on the inside. Alright y'all, we're going to try this. Get pork. Because he may eat the pumpkin roll. I don't know if he's like this or not. Marshmallow to me. It's alright. It tastes like it does taste like the pumpkin marshmallow. Yeah. Kind of like the Lucky Charms marshmallows. It's not super sweet to be honest. I like it. It's alright. She might rather have pumpkin pie. I don't know that I would make this again. If I were to give this a 1 through 10. I think I would give it a six. It's really easy to put together. It's a, it's a very light dessert. If you want something light, it's not too yeah. sweet. Yeah. It is pretty light. Oh gosh. His piece came out looking good. Mine did not. I'm gonna put that back in there. It will get eaten. I'll eat it. Yeah. I just can't get it while you're eating it. Well, there. <laughs> I, I can put it back on my plate. Anyways, y'all, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you try any of these recipes that were shared in the video. And leave a green heart in the comment section. And I'll see y'all um, probably tomorrow. Bye.